Navigating the world of small and medium-sized businesses presents a unique set of challenges, especially when it comes to inventory management. Limited budget can make adopting the latest tech solutions feels out of reach. Then there is an issue of predicting demand with tons of pest data or specialized know-how. It's like gazing into a cloudy crystal ball. Add to that the ever-present space crunch in warehouses. You've got stockpiling up, tying down precious funds. And lastly, let's not forget the uphill battle of building strong ties with suppliers when bigger fish are in the pond. SAP Business One offers a lifeline to SMBs, streamlining their inventory management with real-time tracking, data-driven forecasting, and endless customization options. This robust platform not only optimizes stock levels, but also empowers businesses to make informed decisions, turning challenges into growth opportunities. So, let's see it in action. The first thing you see when you open SAP Business One is the cockpit, which offers an intuitive dashboard that centralizes key operational data, ensuring that you have real-time insights at your fingertips. Particularly when it comes to inventory management, these widgets and reports provide a visual snapshot of stock levels, pending orders, and other critical inventory metrics, allowing for proactive decision-making. The cockpit analyzes sales trends, stock movements, and potential shortages or overstock situations. Integrating data visualizations and detailed reporting creates a seamless user experience, making inventory management more streamlined and informed. Okay, now let's move into the heart of inventory management. The warehouse is at the heart of any efficient and effective inventory management system. It's not just about storing items, but about understanding what you have, its location, and how to optimize the flow. SAP's warehouse offers flexibility that mirrors the dynamics of today's business world. Beyond setting up a physical location, you can set up virtual warehouses. Such warehouses can represent major vendors that use consignment or maybe represent items in transport or quarantine. This method allows for precise inventory tracking on consignment, right down to financial details, ensuring businesses have an accurate picture of inventory assets. You can track the item's cost based on their warehouse, and this is especially crucial if you have multiple storage facilities with varying landed costs for products. By understanding the cost differentials, you can make more informed pricing and order fulfillment decisions. If you have a large variety of products, organizing the warehouse becomes a critical task. That's where bin location comes in. A bin location is like a GPS for your warehouse team. This codes enriched with properties like item restrictions, sort orders, and transaction restrictions ensure that the inventory movement is streamlined. In SAP Business One, you can define up to four different sublevels for bin location. This could be specific as warehouse, aisle, shelf, and level. You can define attributes for bin location. For instance, temperatures to ensure that temperature-sensitive products are stored correctly. In addition, you can also determine specific receiving bin locations, which streamlines the receiving and put-away process in the warehouse. The bin location content list report provides a comprehensive overview of where items are located within the bins. You can see the exact locations of specific serial numbers or batches. Such a feature makes processes like recalls and quarantine more manageable and way more efficient. Now, an effective warehouse is one that never runs out of essential stock. In SAP Business One, you can clear or replenish stock by transferring inventory within bin locations or from different warehouses. Directly run from bin location content report, this process ensures that inventory levels are maintained, avoiding stockouts or overstocking. Effective inventory management is also important for streamlined sales and production cycle. SAP Business One includes an available to promise or an ATP feature within its HANA platform, which streamlines the supply chain management process. This feature empowers businesses by providing an accurate picture of stock availability, which is crucial for promising reliable delivery dates to customers, a key factor in maintaining high customer satisfaction and retention. It's a comprehensive tool that facilitates the organization and management of supply-related data, enables real-time insight into ATP, and allows for the official management of delivery volumes.
Furthermore, it provides flexibility to modify delivery schedule as needed. The system provides a complete 360-degree view of inventory and supply chain processes. This level of visibility is instrumental in achieving peak operational efficiency within the supply chain, which in turn can significantly enhance profitability. While optional, the pick and pack process can enhance the efficiency of fulfilling orders, ensuring your customers get their products on time and accurately. The pick and pack feature scans open sales orders, production orders, inventory transfer requests, reserve invoices. It provides a consolidated view showing the items needed and their delivery dates. By default, SAP allocates inventory based on the delivery date. However, businesses often have a unique needs and priorities, so you can allocate based on factors like customer priority, code, or document numbering. The pick and pack process begins with releasing pick lists for the documents you wish to release for picking. You can generate a single pick list from multiple documents or maintain a one-to-one -one relationship. You can also split pick lists based on item groups or allocate inventory from specific warehouse levels. Once generated, these lists are assigned to pickers, directing them on which items to pick. After the pickers pick the items, they update the quantities in the system. This step is crucial for maintaining accurate inventory records. If a picker cannot locate an item on the list, it remains unpicked. Such items remain open, ensuring no oversights. The final step is creating follow-up documents. Depending on the originating document, the pick list can result in different outcomes. It might produce a delivery, AR invoice, an inventory transfer, good receipt, or even goods issue. This step is vital as it closes the pick list and removes these items from the pick and pack manager, marking them as fulfilled. Let's move on to the item master data. Let's take an example to understand the capabilities of item master data in SAP Business One. The item master data section is well structured with multiple tabs to store diverse details about the product, ranging from basic information to sales and inventory data. It is reflecting the complexities of today's global businesses. At the heart of product details lies the item number. This unique identifier is complemented by an option to input barcodes for using barcode scanners. Beyond the standard product description, you can add descriptions in multiple languages accommodating global operations. You can also cluster products based on types and specific product groups. Clustering similar items together allows you to apply mass modifications, ensuring that power matter adjustments like pricing, supply chain metrics, or other attributes can be executed collectively, saving time and reducing the potential for error. You can also define an item as inventory, sales, or a purchasing item. You can associate a price list and a specific unit price for each product. Moreover, you can specify the manufacturers responsible for the product for sourcing clarity. And shipping types can be defined for each product. In SAP Business One, you can track products by serial numbers or batch numbers. This level of detail is especially beneficial for quality control, recalls, or warranty claims, ensuring full traceability throughout the product lifecycle. In the Sales and Purchasing tabs, you can enter information that will be used in sales or purchase documents for streamlined operations. While drafting a purchase order, you can utilize information like supplier catalogs number. On the other end, the customer's unique inventory item code will be automatically copied during a sales order. This is also true for handling units of measure. A product procured in a box of 24 can be sold in a set of six. You can define such sales unit with corresponding quantities, ensuring accurate sales and inventory tracking. Inventory valuation is a crucial aspect of managing your business finances. The method you select determines the cost attributed to the item sold, playing a significant role in calculating your cost of goods sold and influencing your inventory valuation reports. SAP Business One offers four valuation methods to cater to diverse business needs. Moving average, first in, first out, which is FIFO, standard cost, and serial or batch costing. While you can set up valuation methods as defaults on a global or item group level, you can manually override these defaults for individual items, ensuring that the system is tailored to your specific business requirements. Strategic inventory planning is crucial for businesses aiming to meet customer demands while maintaining efficient operations. In the planning tab, you can save information relevant to inventory forecasting, production planning, and more. 
ensuring that you can effectively manage your resources. Those details will be used in SAP Business One Advanced Inventory Forecasting to forecast future demand based on historical data and in the Material Requirement Planning, which is the MRP functionality, to make informed purchasing decisions that align with predicted demand. Recognizing that businesses has varied operational models, SAP Business One allows you to define a specific procurement method for an item, which is a make or a buy. In the Properties tab, you can define specific items attributes such as style, size, and color. With up to 64 customizable properties, businesses can capture different product details, cater to diverse customer preferences, and maintain a clear product differentiation strategy. Need to count your stock? SAP Business One aids in this by offering features like cycle counts. These are routine checks to ensure the recorded stock levels match the physical count. The system can either suggest when those counts should be made or let you initiate an ad hoc count. Once a counting sheet is prepared, it is handed over to the people that do the actual count. For the sake of accuracy, it's recommended to stop inventory movements during this process. SAP Business One seamlessly integrates complex processes into a user-friendly platform, whether transferring stock between warehouses, managing consignments, or conducting routine cycle counts. The system ensures efficiency and accuracy. Don't miss the chance to elevate your inventory management. Explore SAP Business One today and unlock a world of operational excellence.